So you wanna know the truth about C++ in 2024? You reached the right video, let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure salary you desire. Our 30 day project course includes our JavaScript front end projects, our Python back end projects, our SQL database projects, and much, much more. So go ahead and click the link below to our free seven step guide so that you can start reaching your programming goals today. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna get straight to the point and I'll go into details later on in the video. But C++, it is a great programming language to learn. It's still in demand, all that good stuff, guys. But at the end of the day, you need to know how to navigate the landscape to get a job and to really have success at C++. Again, back in the day, you knew C++, you get a job interview, <clears throat> they had availability, you get the job. That's not the case nowadays unless you know what to say, know how to navigate, and know what parts of your journey you need to present to actually get a job. We'll go over some of that today, guys, but at the end of the day, guys, I just want to set your expectations accordingly. Yes, if you got the programming language in hand, know it, you're good, but there's a little bit more involved in it nowadays that I want to warn you guys and tell the truth about before you guys go into an interview or multiple interviews and really get disappointed in how you guys are rolling as a C++ developer nowadays. So we're gonna go over some of that, but again, you're in good shape. Before we even go farther, you are in good shape to get a job. It's just you got to know how to navigate things. Don't get taken advantage of or don't get left out in the cold. And we'll cover that in, a, um, in detail in a later video, but you're on the right track. But before we get started, guys, comment below about your experience so far. It's a reason you click this video. Uh, maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're just trying to make sure you don't waste any more time, regardless of what your situation is. Comment below. Let's start a conversation on how we can really put you in a position to win so that you're not left out in the cold. You're not wasting time. You're not looking at old information on YouTube as is if it's going to work for you today. Comment below about all this stuff, guys, good or bad, rain, sleet or snow. Put it in the, descri uh, the comment section so that we can talk about this, guys. So I uh, want to make some points here. I want to go over some, um, some key points about what you need to know about C++. Again, it's in demand. Everything's good to go with it. It, it, it. C is one of those languages. It's been around for a long time. It's still not looked at as legacy, but it's been around for a relatively long time compared to other program language. It doesn't have a bad reputation. It's relatively easy to learn compared to legacy application. It's very powerful, but a lot of people learn it and they're still struggling. They can't get jobs or maybe they having a problem with projects. They, it just something along the lines of C++ that they just can't get ahead of the game. And I'm here to tell the truth on why you're doing that. Like we were saying earlier, guys, it's a little bit more than just learning how to code because again nowadays people have existing infrastructure they have to protect people have existing code sources that hey if put into the wrong hands it can get destroyed real fast and it will cost them money you as a developer you're seeing as a double -edged, or a new developer or a unproven developer is seen as a double-edged sword in one hand you can come in here and actually make our life great in another hand, you can come in here and destroy what we built and make life miserable. Nobody knows which route you're gonna go, especially if you're not an experienced developer or haven't really had a lot of um, time to prove yourself. So people look at you as, hey, let me, I like you, but it's a good chance that if you're not a right fit, you can really be destructive to my environment, to my software platform, and it, it can be something as simple as, hey, you know, you don't communicate yourself effectively or your personalities clash. Yes, that's the thing nowadays. I'm, I'm giving you the truth here, guys, so that you can uh, be able to navigate this and be able to ensure this hiring manager that you can do the job or this um uh, this contractor you can do the job and you are you're ahead of this because a lot of developers they they come in there code in hand just showing um programming languages and stuff and just don't know it's a little bit more than that guys so um at the end of the day 
Well, um, just I I hate it when a good developer who has a lot of skills go into an interview and don't get the job because of other reasons outside of programming. You guys got to look at the company and where they are as far as just their maturity of their software platform to really determine if they're a good fit or you're not. Some companies are not as well. You got aggressive companies and you got unaggressive companies. Uh, unaggressive companies, they're not willing to change. They, they're just here to get maintain status quo. They want somebody to come in and do exactly what they say. And, you know, we make changes uh, absolutely unless we need to make changes. You coming in there as a new C++ developer. And again, C++ been around for a while, guys. So understand this is not a company that grew up, you know, last two months or last year. Um, this is a company that's been around 10, 20 years who have software platforms. They probably use C++ to do a lot of that. Last thing they want is somebody coming in just making rapid changes to the code. Good for them because they got a stable system. Bad for you because you don't get no experience doing any of the good projects. And you basically sitting there and just maintaining existing code, which is okay if you're improving it over time, but bad if it's getting stale, performance suffering, it's not being patched, it's using old framework, and the program language is just rigid and it's hard to maintain that code base. And this is what happens over time if you don't really rewrite your code and optimize it for the future. This right here. So the truth of the matter is guys, the minute you see companies that are like this, you run. <laughs> And, and okay, I'm gonna give you another aspect as well. If you see a company like this and you made a mistake, don't necessarily, hey, I'm running at the first chance I get, even though I don't have a backup job. So if, you, if this is your only option, you're gonna have to stay for a while. I just don't want you to lose your job coming in and changing stuff unnecessarily. And, and, and the ironic thing about this, guys, you're gonna actually see problems that they acknowledge and you are completely in the right to say, we well, can rewrite that and you're still wrong because of what? They don't wanna change. <laughs> don't get caught up in this. You can be right and still be wrong. Let me, let me, let me, let me repeat that. You can be right and still be wrong only because they don't know what that code is going to do if you make those changes and they're not they're not willing to risk that chance on doing that guys so at the end of the day you have to make sure you know the lay of the land you know how to navigate these companies and you know what you need to do to actually get started i know it's mind-blowing stuff and that's what we are in some environments guys here nowadays you got some people who update their code base and they got pretty clean code effective it's siloed out to where hey it's not going to break down the line documentation is good syntax is organized everything great and you got the other flip side of it is complete opposite the minute you touch it it's a black hole nobody know what the syntax doing and it's going to take years to get it right to and, and start to building it out, but they're not willing to put in the time. And the worst thing you can do is come in and try to force that issue, unless somebody, a management or somebody way higher than you start to make those decisions, guys. So at the end of the day, it's not all about programming. We talk about more of this stuff in our seven step guide. Link's gonna be for, below to that, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. Links to my premium courses are below too, guys. We get you started as a C++ developer, show you how to navigate the corporate world, and make sure you don't make mistakes that a lot of new developers coming in. And, and, and the sad part about it, you get fired, I don't even know why. So, at the end of the day, guys, like, subscribe to the content, comment below about your um, unique experience. I'm going to put a link to the 7-step guide on the screen. Click that and sign up. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.